Today, we are talking about the Petunia Pickle Bottom Backpack. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. And on this channel, we talk about everything from parenting tips and tricks to product reviews and more. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Today, we are going to talk about the Petunia Pickle Bottom Axis Backpack. This is a diaper bag that I saw while surfing the internet. <laughs> I absolutely had to check it out. Um, it's unlike any type of backpack I had seen before. So um, yeah, I wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough of the outside of the bag and then we'll take a look at the inside, which is really what makes this bag special. And there are two different versions of this bag, one that is in the Petunia Pickle Bottom classic like glazed canvas, um, which retails for a higher price point. And I have the one that retailed for $109, I believe. I'll leave it linked, of course, um, down in the description box down below for you guys. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it together. Okay guys, this is the Petunia Pickle Bottom Axis Backpack. And what really makes this bag special is this very bottom compartment, which we're gonna take a look at in a second. But let me take you around the outside of the bag first. The very first thing we'll have here is a front pocket, which is like a mommy pocket. And inside here, I have hand sanitizer. I have my hand and face wipes that I use for Jakey. And then, if we can all guess, I have <laughs> lip products and I have a mascara because, or actually my, a mascara, because that is my favorite thing of life. And then I have a coupon for Starbucks. So the material um, of this bag says that it is machine washable, which is huge. You know how I love that. Um, these little zipper pulls are, are made out of leather. I would say it doesn't feel like the highest quality leather, to be honest with you. And the overall quality of the material of the bag does not feel high-end to me at all. <laughs> um, in fact, when I open this backpack, you can actually almost like see through the fabric. So just to give you an idea. But anywho, let's proceed. Um, you have a canvas grab handle up on top with two D-rings for stroller straps, which are sold separately. Then over here on this side, you have a hidden insulated pocket. Um, this would be a bottle pocket or a sippy cup pocket. Um, it does fit my son's container without any problem. And then on the back you have your padded backpack straps. Um, it is a light padding but they are very comfortable. And then you have a pocket that expands the entire width of the back of the bag. Um, and it goes down about halfway and I keep my wallet in here. I also tend to keep my phone in there because I noticed in that mommy pocket because I have the wipes and the other things, my phone does not fit the best in this front pocket. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. The inside of this backpack, I'm gonna kind of fold it over. I have purposely used this backpack without any type of packing cubes or pouches whatsoever. So, the first thing I have in here is my little snap tower. Then I have this cup that I'm currently testing out from Contigo that says that it is a completely 100% spill-proof sippy cup. We shall see. That's for Jakey. I have a protein bar floating around in here. I also have my little Me For Kids uh, med kit that has crayons inside of it. Actually crayons, markers, pens. And then I have my two little coloring books here. These are perfect for diaper bags. Then in the back pocket, there is a mesh lining, and I have my Nurslet change pad, which has come in super handy. And it's pretty, love that. So that lives in here for diaper changes. And then I have a pack of wipes from the Honest Company. I have a bunch of diapers. I have one, two, three, five diapers. And then also back here, I have my little um, Munchkin diaper bag disposer. I have a play pack and I have a package of boogie wipes. And that is everything that I had in this interior cavity here. And you can see it is super roomy and it packed really well even without um, packing pouches or be quicks or any of that stuff. So let me show you. Oh, I also have a random pair of socks. Um, let me show you what makes this bag special and what caught my attention. It is this bottom compartment right here. So let's go ahead and unzip it and let me show you. I'm gonna fold that down. So the bottom compartment is completely insulated. 
Um, so if you didn't want to purchase this set separately, you don't have to, and you could use the insulated pocket for bottles or, you know, whatever you need to. Um, but I did buy this separately because I wanted to show it to you guys. <laughs> this is called the Intermix system. And what this is, is it is a little carrier that has a bunch of packing cubes already organized for you in the bottom of the bag. So here is what is so awesome and versatile about this thing. Let me take it out. So there's what the bag looks like without it. What's really cool about this is it has two little D-rings here on the side, one on each side, and then on the bottom, there's two Velcro straps. These little Velcro straps thread through so that this can come out of your diaper bag and attach directly to your stroller in the form of like a little stroller caddy, if you will. So it hooks right onto the handlebar of your stroller and you can take it along with you. I think that is pretty amazing. Another thing that you can do with this is when you're not using it anymore um, at, in your diaper bag, you can take all of the packing cubes out and use it as a little diaper caddy on your changing table at home. So um, I think that is awesome. There's just so many different ways to use this, which I think is so cool. So let me show you what I have here in this little packing cube. And um, it is gonna have like a mesh top the material is machine washable, has a little handle, and um, in this packing cube, I just have my change of clothes for Jakey. So I have a change of clothes, and then I have two pairs of socks, one for Ty and one for Jake. And then I have my med kit, I have my little sticks that I love to use, I have a coin purse, and I have a toilet seat cover, and all of that fit in this packing cube, which I think is amazing. In the big packing cube in the middle, I am using it for snacks. And I think it might be kind of empty because I think we used a lot of them this weekend. But let me show you what's in here. So you could use this big packing cube to put bottles. If you're a pumping mom, you could put your baby's uh, breast milk in there. Um, I have snacks. I have my little fork and spoon set. And I still have a bunch of room. I mean, this thing fits a ton. So I used this one for snacks. And then over on the right hand side, there are two smaller packing cubes. And inside this one, I actually don't have anything. It is totally empty. <laughs> and I'm the biggest overpacker ever and I don't have anything in that one. So in this one, I have lip glosses. You guys know, already know. And it has a cute little handle. I have lip glosses and I have a body shop hand lotion, I have a little Nivea hand cream, and then lip balm. That is what's in this little tiny one. So if you can see in here, see how it's all sectioned off so everything has its rightful place? And now you can imagine when you're not using it anymore, if you want to use it as like a diaper caddy, you could put diaper creams in here, diapers, wipes, and set it on your changing table, or set it downstairs if you have a two-story home. And also know that it's going to have um, leather trim, so these little pieces are going to be leather. Again, maybe not the highest quality, to be honest with you, but it is leather nonetheless. And um, this is also machine washable. Okay, and I wanted to give you guys an idea of what I was saying in regards to the quality of the fabric. See how you can see straight through the bag? You can see the polka dots on the other side. The bag itself is just very, very thin, and it's a thin quality. So I know if you're familiar with Petunia Pickle Bottom, they have the glazed canvas, which is thicker, and maybe that one is a little bit nicer. It is more expensive, um, but this one is just a much lower quality, a different quality than I've, I'm used to seeing from them. However, if you do have a budget of around $150 or $60, you could have a diaper bag with all of your packing cubes and everything that you would need included. So I think that is pretty cool. Okay guys, so that is it for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave any questions or comments that you have in the comment box down below. I'd be happy to connect with you there. And I'll see all of you guys again in my next video. Bye!